nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, in this video, you're going to learn a variety of greetings and phrases and introductions as you try and meet people in the deaf community. There's that first one. Nice. There's a sign for nice. Two hands like this and it just slides. Nice to meet you. Now let me add something here. You don't necessarily need to have the you at the end. These next few signs I'm going to show you are directional, meaning here's meet. This is me. That's you. We just met. Nice to meet you. The you is included in the sign. Okay? Let me give you another um, example of that. Nice to see you. I see you, I see another person, right? Nice to see, I don't need to say, nice to see you, I am seeing you in the sign. Okay? Hope you're getting that one. Let's try another one. May I help you? This is can or may, two A hands down like this. May I help you? I don't need the you at the end. May I, because I help you, you help me, I help a third person. All right? Hey. May I help you? All right? So that'll help you understand those kind of phrases. How about this one? Um, how are you today? Oh, hey. How are you today? Roll the hands. Like, how are you? How are you? How are you now? Okay, how are you currently? How are you today? Now, day, today. How are you today right how about are you feeling better i'm getting your attention are you feeling you're gonna take your middle finger like this feel this is to feel hey are you feeling better do you see the eyebrows do you see the face a question is intended in the sign so i'm asking the question are you feeling better all right how about this one house here's the sign for house here's the sign for where House where? Where is your house? These next few phrases, you'll see the sentence structure is the same and you can substitute in locations. Okay, here we go. Okay, um, work. Here's a sign for work. Take two A hands, hit them twice like this. This is work. Okay, work where? Where do you work? School where? Where do you go to school? Church. Where? Where do you go to church? Do you get that? You can substitute in locations, and that's the sentence. Right? The location, in this case, church. And where? Where do you attend church? Right, these are our beginning greetings and phrases. Let's move on to our next set. As we begin this next set, let's introduce some people first, all right? How about friend? Friend. Two X hands like this, once, twice. Friend. Let's do husband. Husband. Now that should remind you, for you beginning signers, here's the sign for boy. Think of the build of a baseball cap. And while we're here, let's do girl. Think of the curl of a hair, right? Girl. So husband, because this is a sign for marriage, to be married. So, all that together, husband, wife, how about boyfriend and girlfriend? Remember friend from the beginning? Friend, boyfriend, girlfriend. Now hold that thought for a second, all right? Hey, you know, I've had a great conversation. This individual is with me. Let, this is the sign to allow, Two a hands like this. Let, let me introduce. I'm sure it this way. Sometimes you'll see it this way. More often, though, it's more appropriate. There you are. There I am. I'm introducing this person to you. Okay. Let me introduce my girlfriend, my boyfriend, my husband, wife, all those other titles that you might have. Okay. Mother, father, aunt, uncle. We'll learn those in a different video, All right? Let me introduce my girlfriend. You're gonna point, okay, her or possessive her. Okay, either one's fine. Her name 
is, and then you're gonna finger spell it. All right, let's put all that together for you, all right? Let me introduce my girlfriend, her name, S-A-R-A-H, Sarah, okay? Let me introduce my husband, okay? His name is Frank, F-R-A-N-K. You get the hang of that, okay? The title, let me introduce, and then put a name to that person, okay? How about this one? They're taking off, right? The conversation's done. Hey, take care of two K hands like this. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. How about see you later and see you tomorrow? Okay. Oh, I'll see you later. You'll see folks will really abbreviate that up. See you later. See you later. How about see you tomorrow? Oh, guess what? We have a, we have a game. We have a class. We have something scheduled. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Let's kind of harken back to that earlier lesson. I don't need to sign see you tomorrow. This is one of those directional signs. I'm talking with you. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, you getting the hang of it? All right, let's move on to our next set. Now, as part of the introduction, you're going to get classified. Okay, are you hard of hearing? Are you hearing? Are you deaf? This is really a pretty big deal when first meeting people and you're attempting to sign. All right, I am hard of hearing. Two H's, boom, boom. Okay. I am hard of hearing. I am hearing. I've seen some people do really big, that's not necessary. Hearing. Nice and tight. Okay. I am hearing. All right. And somebody who has full access to their hearing ability, I am hearing. Because this is a sign for the ability to speak. Right. I am hearing. I am deaf. Index finger. Mouth to ear. Okay. And the reason for that is when you're talking to a deaf person, they're trying to categorize you. What nationality, quite frankly, are you from, right? Because they're going to adjust their signing skills based on are you hard of hearing, are you hearing, or are you deaf? So once they do that, and as they're signing with you, if your skill level matches theirs, the, the speed of the sign, the, the choice of the sign will increase, right? If you're just a beginner, most people will dial it back a little bit, okay? Making sure that you're understanding. And you might respond with, hey, you know what? I am learning. Here's the sign for learn. Here's, call it page of a book. You're grabbing it off the page and into your brain, okay? I am learning to sign, okay? And that's really the appropriate phrase. Very rarely would you use, I am learning ASL. Okay, I am learning to sign. I am learning to sign, All right? And as they go, he might sheepishly say, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, time out. I know, take that five hand, bend it, okay? I know a little sign. And again, most deaf people I know are gonna see that, get it, gonna slow down, dial it back, and appreciate the chance to sign with you because you're trying. You're trying to learn. So there's a variety of introductions and phrases that are gonna help you as you try and do your best to introduce, break into, and meet people in the deaf community. Thanks.